In fractured reality, a teleportation experiment gone horribly wrong, a graduate student named Amelia tests a teleportation wormhole on herself. But as her life mysteriously unravels, she discovers the scientists behind the experiment were reckless and unethical. Determined to expose the truth, Amelia fights to hold them accountable. As a graduate student in quantum physics, Amelia had always been fascinated by the concept of teleportation. She had spent countless hours studying the theories and conducting experiments in the lab. However, there was one theory that had always eluded her, the idea of teleportation through a wormhole. Despite her lack of progress in this area, Amelia was determined to prove that it was possible. She had been working on a project to create a small-scale wormhole for teleportation, using a mix of quantum entanglement and advanced computational algorithms. After months of testing, she had finally managed to create a wormhole, but she had yet to test it on a living subject. With her graduation just around the corner, Amelia knew that she needed to prove the validity of her theory in order to secure her place in the scientific community. She decided to test the wormhole on herself, despite the risks involved. Amelia prepared herself for the experiment, making sure that all the equipment was in order and that the wormhole was stable. She stepped into the small room where the wormhole had been created and took a deep breath. As she activated the wormhole, Amelia felt a strange sensation wash over her body. It was as if she was being pulled apart at a molecular level and reassembled on the other side. When she opened her eyes, she found herself standing in a completely different room. At first, Amelia was ecstatic. The experiment had worked. She had successfully teleported herself through the wormhole. However, as she looked around the room, she realized that something was wrong. The room was dark, and there were strange symbols etched into the walls. Amelia's heart began to race as she realized that she didn't recognize the room or the symbols. She tried to calm herself down telling herself that she was just disoriented from the teleportation. But as she tried to make her way out of the room, she realized that something was seriously wrong. The door was locked from the outside, and there was no way for her to escape. Panic began to set in as she realized that she was trapped. Amelia tried to use her phone to call for help, but there was no signal. As she sat in the dark room, Amelia began to wonder if her experiment had gone wrong. Had she been transported to another dimension? Was she trapped in some kind of alternate reality? She had no way of knowing for sure, but one thing was certain, her life was about to take a very dark turn. Days turned into weeks as Amelia remained trapped in a dark room. She had no idea how much time had passed, but she knew that it had been a while since she had eaten or drank anything. Her body was weak, and she was becoming increasingly disoriented. As she sat in the darkness, Amelia's mind began to play tricks on her. She started to hear strange noises coming from the walls, and she began to see shadowy figures moving around in the darkness. She wasn't sure if she was hallucinating or if there was something else in the room with her. It was then that Amelia noticed something strange about herself. She couldn't remember anything about her life before the experiment. She couldn't remember her name, where she was from, or even why she had decided to become a scientist. As the days went on, Amelia's amnesia became more and more pronounced. She couldn't remember anything about her family, her friends, or her life outside of the lab. The only thing she knew for sure was that she had conducted an experiment that had gone horribly wrong. 
Amelia began to fear that she would never escape the room. She was starting to lose hope, and she felt like she was slowly losing her mind. She started to talk to herself, hoping that her voice would keep her grounded in reality. One day, as she was talking to herself, she heard a voice respond. She turned around to see a figure standing in the corner of the room. It was a man, dressed in all black, with his face obscured by a hood. Amelia was terrified, but the man seemed to be trying to communicate with her. He spoke in a language that she didn't understand, but she could tell that he was trying to tell her something important. As the days went on, the man continued to visit Amelia. He would bring her food and water, and he would try to communicate with her in his strange language. Slowly but surely, Amelia started to piece together bits of her past. She remembered flashes of her life before the experiment, but they were disjointed and confusing. Amelia realized that the man was trying to help her, but she couldn't understand why he was doing it. She didn't even know who he was or how he had found her. All she knew was that she was becoming increasingly reliant on him for her survival. As the days turned into weeks, Amelia began to fear that she would never escape the room. She didn't know if she would ever be able to regain her memories or if she would be stuck in this strange, dark place forever. As the days passed, Amelia became increasingly reliant on the hooded man who brought her food and water. She had no idea who he was or how he had found her, but she was grateful for his help. However, she couldn't help but feel a sense of unease whenever he was around. The hooded man never spoke to Amelia in a language she could understand. She could tell that he was trying to communicate with her, but she had no idea what he was saying. As time went on, Amelia started to notice other strange things about him. He never removed his hood, even when he was alone with her. And whenever she tried to touch him, she felt a strange, electric sensation, like static electricity. Amelia began to wonder if the hooded man was even human. Was he some kind of supernatural being that had found her in the room? Or was he a product of her own imagination, a hallucination brought on by her time in isolation? One day, the hooded man came into the room with a notebook and a pen. He gestured for Amelia to take them, and then he began to draw strange symbols on the walls. As he drew, he spoke in a strange language, and Amelia realized that he was trying to teach her the symbols. At first, Amelia was hesitant to learn the symbols. She was afraid that they were somehow connected to the strange, dark room that she was trapped in. But as the days went on, she began to realize that the symbols might hold the key to her escape. Using the notebook and pen that the hooded man had given her, Amelia began to learn the symbols. She spent hours each day practicing and memorizing them and slowly but surely, she began to understand their meaning. As she became more proficient in the language of the symbols, Amelia began to notice something strange. Whenever she used the symbols, strange things would happen. Objects would move on their own, or the temperature in the room would change. Amelia realized that the symbols were not just a language, but a form of magic and she realized that the hooded man was not just a stranger, but a powerful magician who had been sent to guide her. But why had he been sent? And who had sent him? Amelia had no answers, but she knew that she needed to find out. She continued to learn the symbols, hoping that they would lead her to the answers she sought. As she continued to study, Amelia couldn't shake the feeling that the hooded man was not telling her everything. There was something he was hiding from her, something important that could change everything. 
but she didn't know how to find out what it was. Amelia knew that she had to be careful. The hooded man was her only ally in this strange, dark world, but she couldn't trust him completely. There were still too many unanswered questions, too many mysteries to be unraveled. As Amelia's mastery of the symbols grew, so did her determination to uncover the truth about the experiment that had brought her to this strange place. She began to use the symbols to try to communicate with the scientists who had conducted the teleportation experiment. At first, her attempts were futile. But then, one day, she felt a strange connection to one of the scientists. She closed her eyes and focused on the symbol that represented the scientist's name. And then, something incredible happened. She felt as if she were being pulled through a tunnel, and then she found herself standing in the scientist's laboratory. The scientist was shocked to see her, but he quickly composed himself. He explained that the experiment had gone terribly wrong. Amelia had been the first human subject, and they had not fully understood the implications of teleporting a living organism. He told her that her body had been torn apart and scattered across multiple dimensions, and they had been trying to bring her back together ever since. But it was a difficult task, and they weren't sure if they would ever be able to fully restore her. Amelia was stunned by this revelation. She had been used as a guinea pig in an experiment that had gone horribly wrong. She felt violated, angry, and scared all at once. But she knew that she had to stay calm and focused if she wanted to escape this nightmare. She asked the scientist how she could get back to her own dimension. He told her that they had been trying to find a way to do just that, but they had been unsuccessful so far. But he promised to keep trying, and he gave her a small device that would allow her to communicate with him whenever she needed to. Amelia returned to her own dimension, feeling both relieved and troubled by what she had learned. She knew that she couldn't trust the scientists who had conducted the experiment, but she also knew that she needed their help if she was ever going to escape this strange place. Over the next few days, Amelia worked tirelessly to perfect her mastery of the symbols. She knew that if she could harness the power of the symbols, she might be able to find a way out of this dimension. And finally, after weeks of intense study, she felt ready to try. She closed her eyes and focused on the symbol that represented her own name. And then, she felt a rush of energy coursing through her body. She opened her eyes, and she saw that the room was starting to change. The walls were warping and bending, and the air was thick with electricity. Amelia knew that this was her chance. She stepped forward into the swirling vortex of energy, and then everything went black. When she opened her eyes again, she was back in the laboratory where the experiment had first taken place. The scientists were there, looking both surprised and frightened by her sudden appearance. But Amelia didn't care. She had made it back, and she was finally free from the nightmare that had haunted her for so long. As she walked out of the laboratory, Amelia felt a sense of triumph and relief. She knew that she would never forget what had happened to her but she also knew that she had the strength and determination to move on. And as she walked out into the sunlight, she knew that the rest of her life was waiting for her. Amelia was relieved to be back in her own dimension, but the experience had taken a toll on her. She was struggling to come to terms with what had happened to her, and she was haunted by the memory of being torn apart and scattered across multiple dimensions. She tried to distract herself by throwing herself into her studies, but it was difficult to focus. 
She found herself constantly daydreaming and losing track of time, and she struggled to connect with her classmates and professors. Her grades began to slip, and she started missing deadlines and important appointments. Her friends and family noticed that something was wrong, but Amelia couldn't bring herself to talk about what had happened to her. She began to feel like a stranger in her own life, like she was trapped in a dream that she couldn't wake up from. She started to wonder if she would ever feel normal again, if she would ever be able to shake off the trauma of the experiment. One day, she received a message from one of the scientists who had conducted the teleportation experiment. He wanted to meet with her and discuss what had happened. Amelia was hesitant at first, but she knew that she needed closure if she was ever going to move on. She met with the scientist at a local coffee shop, and he explained that they had been working on a way to reverse the damage that had been done to her body. They had discovered a new method of teleportation that could bring her back to her original state. Amelia was hesitant to believe him, but she couldn't ignore the hope that his words sparked in her. She agreed to help with their research, and she began spending long hours in the laboratory, working alongside the scientists to perfect the new method of teleportation. As the weeks passed, Amelia started to feel like herself again. She began to connect with her friends and family, and she even started dating someone new. But there was always a lingering sense of uncertainty, a fear that the experiment could happen again at any moment. Despite this fear, Amelia continued to work with the scientists, determined to find a way to reverse the damage that had been done to her. And finally, after months of intense research, they had a breakthrough. They developed a method of teleportation that could not only bring Amelia back to her original state, but could also prevent the type of damage that had been done to her before. It was a remarkable achievement, and Amelia felt a sense of relief and gratitude wash over her. She underwent the new teleportation procedure, and when she emerged on the other side, she felt whole and complete once again. She knew that she would never forget what had happened to her, but she also knew that she had the strength and determination to move forward with her life. The experience had taught her the importance of perseverance and resilience, and she felt a newfound appreciation for the fragility of life. She knew that she would never take anything for granted again, and she was grateful for every moment that she had in this world. Months had passed since Amelia's successful teleportation, and she had resumed her studies and research at the university. But there was always a lingering feeling of unease whenever she thought about the experiment that had almost cost her everything. One day, as she was studying in the library, she came across a strange book that caught her attention. It was an ancient text, written in a language she didn't recognize. But something about it drew her in, and she found herself poring over its pages for hours. As she read, she began to realize that the book contained information about the teleportation experiment she had undergone. But it wasn't just any information, it was information that the scientists had deliberately hidden from her. She was horrified as she read about the risks they had taken and the potential consequences of their actions. It became clear to her that the scientists had been reckless and unethical, and they had put her life in danger without her full knowledge or consent. She confronted the scientists about what she had discovered, but they denied any wrongdoing. They insisted that they had only ever acted in the interests of science and progress, and that they had done everything they could to ensure her safety. But Amelia knew the truth, and she was determined to expose their actions to the world. She began to gather evidence and documents, and she contacted journalists and lawyers to help her bring the truth to light. 
It was a long and difficult process, but eventually, Amelia's story was picked up by the media. The university and the scientists were forced to admit their mistakes and take responsibility for what had happened to her. Amelia felt a sense of vindication, but it was also a painful reminder of what she had been through. She knew that she would always carry the scars of the experiment with her, both physically and emotionally. But she also knew that she had the strength and resilience to face whatever challenges lay ahead. She had learned the value of speaking up for herself and others, and she had discovered a sense of purpose in advocating for ethical and responsible scientific research. As she moved forward with her life, Amelia knew that she would never forget the horror of the teleportation experiment, but she also knew that she had the power to use her experience to make a difference in the world.